so guys what is up this is snan back with another video after such a long long time and i know it's been a super long time and what exactly i've been doing all this time well i was stuck with the university and you know the corona shit is going on and you know i couldn't do anything else and the main news is that i changed my business model okay and now what did i change into i changed into social media marketing agency right so the reason of changing is was that because i wanted to get real with thing you know i was always having an issue with audience and selling affiliate program because again i was not having the money to go for ads and stuff like that so i decided that, you know why not just go for some real shit go ahead serve people do a job for them and then get money out of it okay makes sense now what did i do previously before starting it i learned instagram I grew on my account from zero to a thousand followers in I don't know less than a year and stuff something like that. Secondly, I went through a lot of courses regarding Facebook ads and I learned Facebook ads. Okay, for a month or two, I've been roaming around the business, manager ads, manager, messing around with things and learning the different things that I could. Obviously, I'm not a board in money and very practical, but yeah, I believe I know a lot about Facebook ads. All right, I know about Facebook ads. I know about Instagram. I know about Facebook. I personally done that. I personally a lot of some of my own uh, the thing that I had after marketing. Now the thing that you might be noticing because I rebranded my channel, the channel of mine. Previously is for affiliate marketers. Now I no longer own it, so I won't be using affiliate market. It's me as Nan as it is in front of you guys, right? So this is why I started social media marketing agency. And what do I offer? I offer Facebook ads. I offer. the content creation i offer the uh, management of all the social media profiles including the growth and all that stuff right so how do i find clients for my social media marketing agency so far right now it's 12th of the fifth month of 2020 i do not have any client right i am not having any single client but yeah i'm working on it i've started working on it for the past one month i'm still working on it and yeah i'm really really sure that yeah i'm going to score a client in the next Two weeks or so, right? So, what is my model? How exactly do I go ahead and I start looking out for clients and reaching out to them? The first thing that you need to do is that you need to find a niche in it. Again, like every other business model, you also need to pick a niche in this one. For example, my niche in Facebook clients, and I'll show you the error I was doing over there. Why? Because I was reaching out to every single one out there. I was reaching out to chiropractors. I was reaching out to dentists. I was reaching out to real estate agents, right? And that is when I realized that I am doing something wrong, because you know I cannot be a master in all of these things, right? So that is why I picked out real estate owners, because yeah, real estate. I have a lot of strategy when it comes to selling things with real estate, right? If I want to sell a real estate property, because I myself I am passionate about real estate. I always thought you know someday I'll do real estate stuff, stuff like that. But since I couldn't, I can at least help real estate owners flourish, right? So yeah, that is why I chose real estate as my niche. Now, how does it work? I am basically using LinkedIn for uh, reaching out to clients and the outreach thing, and this is how it works. The first thing I do is that I find clients. I go to the search bar in LinkedIn and I search for real estate agents and stuff like that. And once I had them, let me just show you exactly how I do it. I see this, all right, and then I go through a lot of things, and then let's say I am looking out for real estate agent. I'll go and click on people because I want people that were they are working in the real estate space, right? And then I'll go for location, and I want to see for clients in United Kingdom because that is uh, where I am targeting right now, right? So I'll go ahead, I'll put in United Kingdom, and then I'll apply it, and then I'll see that how many people come ahead. Now let's say that I want to send it to Zach Cohen. Right, I'll open this guy up. Let me just show you my process right now. Because the first thing I do, I find a client. Now, what is the process of finding? The first thing I need to do is that I need to go to his profile and then I need to look out for his website. That if he's having a website or his website having a Facebook pixel or stuff like that. Once I'm done with that, what do I do? I go back and I see that okay, now I'm having a connection. Let's say I found one client. One potential prospect, and then I send them a connection request. Now the connection request I send, it is really, really, uh, you know, it's sharp and it's amazing. I'll show that to you guys. Now this is where the tricky part I play. I send them a connection request, which is an indirect uh, proposal or something like that regarding to any kind of audit I am doing to the website stuff like that. Now keep this thing in mind. I am not sending these connections 
out to random people by not checking their website and stuff like that i do i go to the profiles i check them that if they qualify i send them this connection request but this is how it works here i just stumbled across a profile and could help myself from looking onto web a website and social media handles in short your online presence to my surprise i'm shocked to see the damage it is doing to the business we must connect so that i can show you the ins and outs cheers now there are two things that they think too first thing they know what am i talking about right they know this guy is going to tell me something about my website and uh, it's going he's going to tell me something about my social media handles right so they know that this guy is up to something right and secondly it is an indirect proposal that okay i have something to show you it can be a video or it or it can be a text message or it and i got i want to show you something now this is where i figured out something i guess a one day back one day back i guess because would know what i was doing that all these people they were accepting my connection because i was waiting that you know why are these people not actually reaching back out to me that hey yes we want to know more about what you've caught up in our business and i was not really engaging with them i was like that dude they should be you know messaging me that all right what do you have and then i'll reach out to them because you know sending two messages and row it doesn't make any sense but that is when i realized that i was doing the one of the biggest mistakes of my life but the thing is that the nature of my connection is to send them some sort of audit right and now when they're reading it and then they are accepting the request that means that they want to know about it right so what should i do I just start sending the video audit as soon as they accept the connection request, and this is exactly what I'm going to do starting out from today. Because right after I'm done recording this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my loan. I'm going to start recording the website, the social media handles, telling them what they're missing out on and what are the issues they're facing and how they can potentially fix it if they're not going to hire me. Now, this is another thing I noticed, and I'll get back into it a moment later. But let me just finish this one right now. You send them a connection request. If they do not accept it. fine it's totally fine some people wait for a week and do not accept it it's fine just move ahead another thing that you can do is that either move ahead or you can look for some other company but so now let's say uh this is this guy he's a partner in next gen real estate and now the cool thing on linkedin is that if they made a company account of next gen real estate i can actually go and i can actually find more people who work there let's say i'm reaching out to real estate agent what i can do is that preferably i'll reach out to the owner of that firm right even if i'm reaching out to the owner and if he is not replying instead of moving forward what i'll do is that i'll look for some other person in his space some sort of director some sort of sales agent some someone like that and then i'll reach out to him and I'll just repeat the process because guys this is what i've realized that if i know that i have having something that can be of value to them then why am i holding back why am i thinking about it you know i am going to sound like a sales person right dude i am going to sell them something why am i going to choosing them why am i going to sell them something because i know that the service that i am going to offer them it is going to be of value to them again if they do not find a value and they would and if they do not get more customers out of it cool they can just tell me that is nan you can fuck off the thing is that i know what is the value of the service i'm offering i know the facebook ads if they're getting 100000 visitors per month on their website and do not have a facebook pixel installed yes i know they're missing out on a lot of money if they have a lot of followers on instagram i know they're missing out on a lot of money if they do not have any online presence i know they're lot as losing out on a lot of money you see you need i am sure about my product i am sure about my service that yes this is why i'm going to reach out to them back and again because i know that a good example i like to give in this regard is that let's say you're having a cure to cancer right and there is this person in front of you who is having cancer how hard you're going to go to sell it to him that person first time you go he say that hey, i am not interested you go back you're not going to leave it you know it can save him you're going to go out to him again that hey you need to listen to me this is something you need he says no you can you're going to reach back out to him again not until you reach your last breath right because you know that the thing that you're having it is going to be of immense value to that person it is going to save his life it is going to save that business in this regard and so you know that he need to have this that is the mentality i was always supposed to have and guess i am having it right now because this is now i'm working this is why i'm finding people who are actually going to benefit from facebook ads or social media marketing or growing their business on social media and this is how it works so here it is if they accept the connection request you do not wait for anything you just send them the video audit 
right i am using loam i can also use camtasia which i'm using right now to record this video and yeah when you're sending them video or it you mentioned that uh, it it is supposed to be a small video where you tell them that okay these are different things that are going on with your social media handle with your website and if you're not doing them here is your competitor who is doing them and he is benefiting from and he's actually selling your customer stuff like that and since it is going to be a short video or it and since i value your time i'm going to make it as short as possible and we can talk more about it in detail if we can schedule a close meeting in the next one day or two right it is as simple as that now it may look very simple but honestly it is not right but the first thing you need to do is you need to know what you are doing you need to learn instagram you need to learn facebook ads now i 100% agree with all of you that facebook ads cannot be learned through you know some courses or some videos you need to try it and learn it yourself and yeah i totally agree on that that is why my Actually, I'm going to price my service upside down. So basically, people charge more for paid ads and less for you know, social media management services. My higher price service is going to be social media management. My lower price service is going to be Facebook ads because, okay, I might end up giving them results because I have done a lot of, you know, playing with Facebook ads and stuff like that. So I know that what are the ways that I can target a specific audience and how to actually do it. But if I'm actually able to make them profit then cool then i know what i'm doing and then i can start back to increasing my pricing right so guys this is the plan right now this is the plan right now and i'm not really sure that how it is going to go along but i am what i'm sure about is that yes it is going to work it's going to work really really good and yes i have heard a lot of businesses you have been on the channel for i guess a pretty long time and yes i did affiliate marketing and i failed I don't know at what number this business falls in. I've done a lot of out there and I've just failed. But this one, I'm really, you know, positive about this because I am seeing success with this. Now I know that the time I'm starting out doing this Corona thing, this is, I believe, one of the worst times to start a social media marketing agency, especially with Facebook ads and stuff like that because people, they, you know, you run Facebook ads to drive people because I deal with local businesses, right? So if people are not even able to go outside, then what is the use of the owner in spending money on Facebook ads, right? So this is what I was thinking about some time back that, you know, maybe I'm making a mistake. Maybe it's not the right time. But you know what, guys? I looked into it, right? I looked into it and I, I tried it. I've been on cold calls. Yes, I've cold called a few people and yes i must say it is one of the most intense experiences of your life because you know do you know the funny thing about that is that i did not have any script at that time i mean it is just a couple of weeks ago when i did that but i was not having a script i was just calling someone out of nowhere and i was talking basically nothing i knew of which is asking me that hey is that let's say let's assume that i'm talking to you guys and call i'm talking about like hey john am i talking to john is that john from that place Yes, John, are you the decision maker? And who can I talk to? Who is the decision maker? Because it was like so awkward for me because I've never done that before. And I live in Pakistan. So here talking, you know, or talking in your own mother language and talking to a you know, foreign language, some person, they are two different things. Right. And yeah, it was a crazy experience. But obviously, I did get failures. People hung up on me. But yes, I also had success as well because I was calling this one uh, uh, motorsports agency and uh, he sold cars, right? So I talked to him and he was like that, yeah, I am cool with that. I, li I like what you have to offer. But right now due to Corona, I cannot, uh, you know, I cannot hire you or take your service. So I just asked him that, what if I reached out to you after Corona? He was like that, surely take your service. So yeah, that was a short success over there because that person, he's on my list right now that whenever the Corona ends, I'm just going to reach out to him and tell him that, you know what, that is over now, people are going to come out, let's just do it, right? So yes, I'm having a lot of successes over here. I've sent a couple of video audits before. I have talked to some people on Instagram, a person reached out to me. He was starting some sort of mentorship or coaching course and he wanted me to run ads for them and develop all of that for him i was totally up for it i talked to him for i guess a lot of time i told him that were the things that i can do for him i gave him i actually gave him a marketing plan just while talking to him and after that he just wouldn't reply on him so yeah these things happen as well 
you just don't need to lose hope man you just not you just don't need to lose hope i was thinking about the other day that what i'm going to do with my youtube channel you know because most of the time i spend it in you know reaching out to clients talking to them making connections sending emails cold emails stuff like that and i was thinking about it you know what i'm going to do with my youtube channel i do i thought you know i was just watching green lantern and i thought that hey you know what let's make a youtube video and talk to my people out there i don't know if someone is going to watch this or not but yes making this video it gives me a chance to you know talk out to someone and you know just say things that i mean to say and the stuff i'm going through and the stuff i plan to do it really means a lot and that is why i'm making this video right now from tomorrow onwards however i am having another idea just while talking about this i am having another idea the idea is that i'll just make whenever i'm working for an hour or half hour i'll just turn on the recording of the screen and i'll just do my work and i'll just talk to you guys i don't know if that idea is going to work or not because i've never seen anything like that like some guy actually working doing his stuff and recording a screen while talking to people just like a live stream but it will not be live so yeah that is another idea i'm having so let's see how it goes and this is what i had to talk about and this is how you can also get started if you want to start a social media marketing but the first thing you need to do is that you need to learn what you're doing if you're doing a seo agency you need to learn seo if you're doing facebook ads agency you need to learn facebook ads if you are going to do content creation and social media management you need to know what you're doing right and even if you don't know you can just go ahead you can just score a client and you can just hire someone else at a cheaper rate who can do it for you and that will be it you can just profit from that right so guys that was it for this video it was just a long time i had a lot of things to say and that's it i'll see you in the next video it's me hasnan over and out